So this is a 33 minute game. Um, what the fuck so is I, this, dude? What is this? Do people I even go to this be, anymore? I don't think so. I, I got it this game because I thought it would help me deal with Enchantress and it didn't. Um, <laughs> Just get a Midas <laughs> or some shit, lol. I think your, your alt one-shots her creeps. I'm pretty sure that's its mechanic, right? Um, creeps are killed in one hit of Omni Slash. Wait, what? Yeah. You see that? Right above slashes. Creeps are killed in... Wow, fuck's sake. Yeah, so... Um... One sec. Uh, I'm gonna make a beast master and then we'll see if it like does the because I'm sure it does um I'll try and stay level six so I don't like get extra damage see it's one shotting everything um and that's three slashes at level one so it's three creeps dead yep oh Huh. Okay. So it doesn't... Okay. I guess these are considered neutrals and those are considered creeps. So that actually doesn't matter at all. Um, lol. Feels bad. Um, I, yeah, I still think this is probably a huge reason of why you lost. It's just kind of like... Super meh. I think. I don't know. It's mm -hmm. it's weird. It's kind of just like... It goes through phases of people thinking it's awesome and it sucks. And I think right now is one of those phases where it sucks. Mm -hmm. um, also, noting that Sven and Tiny are probably just going to eat whatever creep you have. Um, because of their cleaves. Um, and then also, she can just enchant your thing back. Um, oh shit, that's right. So it's kind of like, alright, nice 2,000 gold for some attack speed and health regen. Thanks for my creep back also. And I think uh, yeah. when, uh, when she enchants your creep, it keeps the 1,400 health. Um, oh fuck, really? Yeah, so if you get like a little satyr creep and then she enchants it, you just gave her a buffed up satyr, uh, one of the little purge creeps. Um, oh, this is terrible. Yeah. Because I think I remember seeing some cheeky shit where, like, you dom with, uh, you helm a dom, and then there's an enchantress on one team and a chen on another, and it, like, keeps boosting up the HP. Um, you start, the, the helm a dom just makes it start at 1400, and I think chen's, um, Chen's gives it extra health. Eh, I think they changed it. But yeah, I'm pretty sure if she dominates one of your creeps, it stays at 1400 health. Um, I would have rather seen a clarity. Um, because you're gonna still have to use the courier to get your branch anyways, so it's kind of like you're not really saving a, uh, a trip, but... At some point in the next 10 minutes, you're going to want a clarity. Um, and it might be earlier. And it's just kind of like the chances of it being early and the amount of impact a clarity will have as opposed to the chances of it not being early and the impact your one branch has is like... Um, it's worth it to usually get the clarity. And that also could mean like... Instead of having to use your mango, you can just use the clarity instead and get more mana. And yeah, that doesn't work. She's faster than you. Um, but I'm sure you noticed that. But yeah, um, the the clarity might save your mango. Um, Uh, that was bad. Um, this little mistake, that, uh, this little thing that you do here, I don't know if you noticed, but this is, this is bad, because you could have had the creeps end up over here, but now you have them over here, 
Which, like, she doesn't really want to be harassing you from right here. So. Can you back that up a few seconds and show me? Yeah. It's, uh, instead of waiting, when this creep dies, these creeps are going to be running this way. And if you just, like, get out of the way or, like, stand here so they don't accidentally slip into your tower, um, the creep wave will be a lot safer. And the amount of space that she has to harass you goes down a lot. Um, but you standing here and then tanking these creeps makes it so this guy's going to stay here the whole time instead of ending up over here. Um, and if you're right here, you just run, like, here, and then she can't attack you. Um, like, if the creeps meet here, if uh, you go up for a last hit and then run back here, she can't attack you without aggroing your creeps, which will definitely keep the lane like, right here for the rest of the game. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. right. So can you, can you like, click her to drag the creeps back, like, right where you want them? Well, what... Or just let it go? What I'm saying for you to do here is just get out of the way. Um, okay. Like, you could be doing that right now. Um, you, like, run right here, right-click her, drag this guy a little bit over here. Uh, like, this guy would end up um, right here attacking the range creep if you did that and ran away um but here if you just run back to your creeps um they would have met like right here that's about the same distance or it'd be like in this area um if you were just not there um so you running back over here gives her this much more space to fuck with you and she can like freely throw attacks at you like here here or whatever and not really care about the creeps and you can't really do too much about it whereas if you're right here you just run a little bit back and then she's not really going to be right clicking you from over here um but like here she can right click you right here for like forever um it's a it's a minor thing but the higher up you go the more you'll be punished for it um and this is like you can't save him so um it's fine that you're looking, um, because you don't miss any creeps, so I'm not concerned with that at all. Um, your enchant- or your earth spirit's kind of a dumbass. Oh, that's one of your heroes, right? Uh, kinda, yeah. I'm a little bit rusty on him, but yeah. Lol. I guess your Earth Spirit's a god. <laughs> that's, that's, that's the one good play he made that game. Yeah, it's, uh, he shouldn't be top because, like, the, the chances of you doing anything and the amount of prep work to be able to do anything here is just, like, so low. Um, it's kind of like, uh, the best that he can do is really distract the Enchantress and then hope she messes up, and that you guys got that kill because she messed up more than, um, anything. I'd also be learn uh, leaning towards getting a Battle Fury this game. Um... It's really good against her creeps, the same way as Helm of Dom is, and it's an early item that solves your health problems, so like if you got a ring of health right now, um, you'd be at like 11 health per second or whatever, and then you're not really too worried about her, um, so it's, uh, I lean more towards Battle Fury when it's a lane that I can farm in and I'm getting decent farm, but I know that, um, Soon, I'm going to be start getting pushed out of the lane if I don't um, have more regen. Um, and Ring of Health gives you, like, what, like 300, 400 health a minute? Um, which is really a game changer on top of your base. Um, so you'd be getting, like, she'd have to be doing, like, 600 uh, harass a minute, which is a attack every six seconds on you, uh, without stout shield or whatever, um, for her to, like, even to start to push you out of the lane, and then when you, um, 
you also have your healing award, and if you fly out a clarity, it's just kind of like she can't really push you out of the lane at that point. Can um, you, um, if you go Battle Fury and you start with the Perseverance, can you skip the Ring of Aquila if you do that? Yeah. It solves, uh, it's just kind of like, um, another, you can skip it because the, the mana doesn't really do anything for you. You already have, uh, what is it? Uh, four and a half times more mana regen than Aquila gives. Um, but also with Battle Fury, um, it makes it so you get other items really quickly. So the more small items you have, the quicker you're going to like fill up and have to replace them. Um, does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And with, uh, with Battle Fury, you want to go um, Power Treads because the the tax feed does well with um, the the damage from um, Battle Fury. And this is where I, st I got pushed out, basically. Yeah, it's kind of like if you imagine how the lane would be going differently if you got the Ring of Health with your 850 gold, like two minutes ago um mm -hmm. and then it's kind of like what are your phase boots doing that um compare having your phase boots to having a ring of health right yeah i'd be able to stay in lane yeah and I mean, it's, normally i get it because it's like it gives you so much kill potential but i think the regen would have been so much well it, here. it doesn't give you kill potential on her because she's like still faster than you even if you phase or she's i think you're faster than her while you're phasing only slightly and then after your phase boots she's just a fuck ton faster than you so it's kind of mm -hmm. like um in a game where she's competent and not like completely retarded the only way that you're gonna kill her is if she's alone and your Earth Spirit rolls on her, stuns her, and then you Omni Slash, and like maybe finish her off with a spin at the very end, and Phase Boots don't really help too much with that when you compare it to the value of like just not caring that she's auto attacking you, right? Because that's mm -hmm. a that's a yeah. pretty like specific, and that's relying on your Earth Spirit um, completely for your Phase Boots to even be comparable. Um, also, with this, you should be flying out, if you're going Aquila, you should be getting the Sage's Mask and flying it out, because you can finish the Ring of Protection at the side shop. Right, yeah. So it's, it's like old Battle Fury, where, um, you buy all of the components that you can't buy at the side shop, so that exactly when you have the gold, you get the item, or, um, it, you'll probably get 175 gold before the courier gets you, but it'll save you a lot of time. See, like, phase boots didn't really help you with that. Um, like, you could have done that without phase boots. Like, just Omni Slash her here, and she dies. With or without phase boots. Yeah. Um, she was out of position anyways. Yeah. Um, so. And, okay, good, you fly out the clarity. Um, the th you're gonna have to probably jungle if she returns to lane while you're running that clarity. Um, good thing your team stole your fucking courier. Do they not know yeah. who you are? Hey, right, she's gone, that's good. Um... I don't like this. Yeah. Um, it's just kind of like... <sighs> At this point, you're... You're pretty good off in the lane, right? Um... Like, you're, you're about even, if not, like, ahead of her when she should be dominating you. Um, and... 
if you leave the lane and let her get like a windlace and bracers, uh, you just kind of can't come back to lane. Um, because then she has the health to sustain your burst, and she has the movement speed to like just fuck you over, over and over and over. Does that make sense? Yeah. And then if she gets too big, like yeah. she's just gonna push you out one on one. Yeah, and then um. She can push pretty decently with creeps. Like, if she has a satyr creep, she can push it pretty hard. And then she'll get a bunch of farm. She'll get the experience. You'll be getting nothing except for, like, maybe some kills. And, like, um, maybe if you kill the tiny, it's worth it. But I really don't care about kills until, like, level 6. Um, because the, the death timer goes up so much at level 6. And, uh... The, um, the level 1 through 5 have, like, um, how do I put it? It's basically the, they don't scale, um, as much as the other levels. Like, um, level 1 through 5, um, like, level 5 is not, uh, how do I, I think 80% as good as a level 6 kill, um, Basically, the, the first five levels are, like, extremely dampened for what you get out of them between gold, experience, and kill timers. So, when they get level six, then they're onto, like, the normal path. Does that make sense? Yeah, it's scales. Okay, yeah. Uh, it's basically, uh, it scales something like, uh, I don't know, that... I guess, uh, watch my mouse and then imagine there's, like, a graph here. Um, and then it scales something like this, and then there's a solid straight line that goes up. So it's just kind of like there's a f little shitty line right here where you're missing, um, a good amount. And then it goes up like normal. Um, so it's just kind of like early kills don't matter. Um, mm -hmm. and on top of that, um you're doing well off in a lane that you shouldn't be doing well in. And if she, let's say, has 300, 400, 500 more gold, the lane's gonna be back to her dominating you, as she should be. Um, so it's kind of like you're risking all of that to go for a disruptor when you don't even have your ult. And even if you do have your ult, do you want to be using it on a disruptor, or do you want to be holding it in lane so that the enchantress, you have kill potential on the enchantress if she ever fucks up? And then if you kill her again, you definitely just won the lane, and it's like 80 20 at that point. Whereas if you kill this disruptor with your Omni Slash, whoop de fucking do, you got about as much. Um, you have to go here, kill this guy, maybe use your ult. Um, like, let's say you had your ult. I don't think you can kill this guy without your ult at this point. Um, if you use your ult on this guy, it's kind of like, um, you used your ult to get the same amount of gold that you would have got if you just stayed in the lane, and you diminished your kill potential on the enchantress, and you gave her a way to come back in the game. So, this guy dying to you, he's like, alright, fucking awesome, I just, like, almost won the off lane by not even ever going off lane. Or doing anything. Yeah. All I did was fucking suck, and <laughs> I won the off lane. And now you're here, you're wasting time, um, and now you're trying to push it because, um, you're, you're here, and it's, you're spending all of this time not, um, top, and now the Enchantress is probably gonna come back. Um, like, uh... Um, yeah. It's kind of like, I, I get antsy a lot when I'm, like, sitting in lane for ten minutes, and I feel like, shit, I'm having no impact, and then I just do stupid shit. Here, let's watch... Um, watch the graph. Uh, you guys are kind of coming back, and then you leave your lane and accomplish nothing oh my god and then you come back top and you guys are starting to go back up again and then if we look at the experience i'm sure it's probably the same ish yeah 
so this is um, where is it this right here is when you left the lane um, and then this right here is when you left the lane so and if you stayed it would have been like up here on both the gold and the experience probably um, so like that's like a 1500 gold swing by you leaving the lane because she's getting all this farm you're not stopping her from getting any of it and you're not getting any farm and now when you come back later it's going to be harder to do anything because um, she has the farm and you don't anymore see now you're just pushed out of the lane Also, imagine if you got this fucking stun creep instead of holding the Helm of Dom for the Enchantress. And you just, like, stun her, spin on top of her, and then Omni Slash her. I think you're too set in this countering the Enchantress instead of it being a good item. But again, she probably would have just enchanted your sun creep and then killed your earth sphere with it. <laughs> this is good. Good. It, you're really good with this. Like, every time that I'm like, alright, he should probably fly out of clarity, you put it in your backpack like five seconds later. Or you're, uh... You, you basically show that you're going to be doing it, so that's really good. Um, it's the one good thing I do. Yeah, um, kind of. Um, and then uh, when you... You should be doming catapults. It's kind of like, yeah, you're losing 70 gold, but these things are so fucking good right now. They uh, they destroy everything, especially with the, the attack speed aura. Um, I'm pretty sure I did dominate that in a second here. Okay, good. Because you can do so much shit with this. Um, like, whenever a, a lane's pushed up, you just send this to it, and it does 300 more damage to the tower every single fucking time. And what are they going to do? Send a disruptor to go deal with your fucking siege creep? Um, like, nobody can... In, unless it's an enchantress, none of them can really deal with it, because this guy nukes shit down, this guy nukes shit down... Um, this guy can't kill it in a stun. She's the only one that can deal with your siege creep. Um, so if you just... Uh, do you... Yeah, there you go. Nice. Pog champ. It's good that you just leave it. It's very good. Because then it's kind of like... Um, you make them make a decision of either chasing you or basically giving up like 400 damage um, on their tower, but at this point I would be pulling it away because you know that it's going to die and it gives a lot of gold. Um, also, siege creeps are just kind of like really important, so you're wasting the siege creep. Um, and then you kind of fuck this up really bad. Uh, do you know, you know you can move command on people, right? Yeah, no, we went over that last time. Okay. Then this is just kind of like you need to be doing that. Um, and it's... Understanding that you could probably kill them. Um, it's just kind of like... Uh, I'm trying to figure out how to explain it. You should like attack them once and then spin on them, really. Um, because your spin doesn't require you to stop moving. Um, to do something. So if you keep attacking him, he's just going to run away from you. And you're not too much quicker than him because your phase boots are on cooldown. Um... Yeah, you have only six more movement speed than him. So you can't really be, like, attacking um, and running him down. 
So the spin would have probably got the kill um, if you didn't go for this auto attack. Um, and there's no real way he kills you because you could have dropped healing ward and if he goes for the last hit on the healing ward then he's in a position to... Like he has to straight up just run away or he dies. So if he turns on your healing ward he dies. Um, that was inconvenient. What a guy, he fucking saved you from the tier three. I know. When the Night Stalker shows, you could have got out here. The Sven's just respawning. Uh, and the Tiny shows top. Um, so it's just kind of like... Uh, where is it? Like right here. Um, when the Enchantress... When you know she's here, and then I think sh Sven shows soon, um, you can just kind of like... There's nothing stopping you from leaving, so you kind of waste a good 20 seconds there. I would have spent that time getting a TP before doing this push. Like, don't you feel a lot safer when you make this push, but you have a TP? Yeah, and I'm gonna die here, I think. Or that might have been the next one. And the thing with Jug is, like, that's one of the best mechanics about him, is just having a TP and knowing that you can spin and Nothing can stop you. I think Tiny's Toss might stop you. Um, I'm not sure if they changed that or not. Yeah, there it is. At least you used your Quick Buy, Kappa. Yeah. This is good. I like that you're not going back yet. This is really good. Then I should have TP'd out right there. I just yeah. Panicked. Yeah. You definitely should have TP'd there. The creep wave would have died, and you successfully stopped the push. Or, like, uh, the tiny is not there, so if you backed in that spin, you would have been able to stop that push and, like, not died. Um, the, the macro decision was good, the micro was bad. I don't like that at all. You went uphill against a Sven. If Sven stunned you and the Tiny was there, or the Night Stalker was there, or some shit like that, you could have just died. Also, you got this Helm of Dom to dominate her creeps, and you're not doing that at all. Um, no, I don't think I did it this game at all. Dominate her courier. Like, you can use it on it right now, and then stun her, and then you kill her. But you let it take up at least one, two. Yeah, that thing soaked up. Um, it was two slashes and then one auto attack soaked up instead of stunning her with it and it not soaking up any. But that's like hard to execute, but it is a, a huge mistake. It ends up being fine, but it shouldn't. Uh, here I'd be like, all right, let's take Roche. Um, somebody go back and defend, and we're gonna Roche with Healing Ward. And then you push with that. Because they have three dead, they can't stop you from Roching. And you don't really have enough time to do much else.
Does that make sense that you should have roached? Mm -hmm. Yeah, because we didn't need to rotate like three fucking heroes yeah. back to base once Night Stalker's already left. Like that's just silly. And then that was <laughs> that was a misclick buyback. Awful. Um, I've never misclicked buyback, and I've played this game for eight thousand hours. What I meant to do was alt click it. True story. Ah uh, yeah. Then it was like, whoops! I guess we're. And I think at this point the replay's basically expired because yeah. I'm fucked at this point. I was just about to say that. Um, but yeah, I th does that. Does that make more sense as to why you lost? Like there wasn't. I didn't point out anything like super special. Like with my other sessions, they're usually like more eye opening. It's just kind of like. There were a lot of small mistakes, um, like the the leaving the lane here um, at eight minutes or whatever to try and go kill a disruptor. That probably reduced your chance of winning by like two or three percent. Um, and the helm of Dom, I think, is like a three or four percent, probably five percent. And then if you actually used it correctly, it would have only been like a two percent. Um, and it's. Uh, I would have rather seen you go defusal after uh, Manta. You're, I don't know if you you don't get to it, but defusal does so much work against their team. Like if you can kite this guy or this guy, it's huge. And if you can lock her down, you can spin on top of her and she dies. Um, whereas with your Maelstrom, it's just kind of like all right, you're doing everything a little bit better, but it's not enough. Whereas, the Fusal Blade lets you do more things and do everything better. Uh, did you have another replay you wanted to go over, or do you want to just do that one? Uh, I just wanted to do that one. Right. Um, I don't know, I've, I've been um, in a slump lately, and I don't think... I had a lot of shit-fest games, basically. Gotcha. And I don't think it's worth going through them yet, so... Well, yeah. I think we can just call it nice and short, and... <sighs> Just like my dick. Go.